and all the staff members, our dear children. And parents, I think it is an overwhelming sight to see these tiny dots who have just begun their schooling. They have just, you know, entered the school just maybe a few months or one or two years and they are performing so flawlessly. I think they all, big, uh, you know, they all deserve a big round of applause. Because stage is a place where we adults also feel nervous, we start fumbling, but they are here, they are reciting their lines, they are well versed with whatever they have learned, and they are flawlessly giving their performance. So hats off to them, and yes, I can say they have miles to go. Then they will uh, complete their schooling, they will uh, complete their class 12th year. Then you will see that yes, they will be groomed into well, uh, you know, uh, behaved and well groomed human beings when they will move out of the school. And that is what we want all our children to become. And these events, these functions, they are always stepping stones towards that particular goal. Because when we talk about MVN, we do not talk about just academics. We want our children to be smart socially and uh, they have to be like, you know, uh, groomed in such a way that when they move out in the world, they are confident enough and they are, uh, you know, having a personality which impresses one and all. So this is a stepping stone, a function like this, where we, they learn so many things. It's a learning, enriching learning experience for all our children. And right now, they are in this age, which I call as the habit formation age. Whatever they do, whatever they perform, however they behave, that becomes a part of their personality. It becomes a habit for them. And that is why molding them in the right direction is very, very important. And how is it done? First and foremost, the way we portray ourselves, whether it is the parents, whether it is the teachers, the way we conduct ourselves in front of them, that matters a lot. Because children are ready to emulate whatever they see, whatever they hear, whatever they witness from us. So we need to be good role models in front of our children. And next, we need to understand that they get into good moral values, they have good habits, and they are refrained from bad habits, like for example, being aggressive, or being selfish, or being, uh, you can say, self-centered, and not adjusting with others. That is what we do not want our children to do. So, this does not always mean that keep giving whatever they ask for or whatever they desire. We need to understand, we need to be discreet in this, that we have to make them understand the value of everything and give good moral values so that they become socially good human beings. That is the need of the art, that they become tolerant, they become adjusting, they become uh, respectful towards the elders, they become compassionate human beings. And today's function, the theme is Basant Utsav, spring is in the air. Because we all know that spring has set in, and even nature, the seasons that you witness, they also have something to tell us. In fact, you can say nature is the greatest teacher. And when these seasons change, they symbolize that yes, change is the need of the hour and change is inevitable. That is what we need to make our children also understand. Change is a part of life. Without change, we cannot exist. And change is always for the good. And when we know that spring has come in, spring comes after winters, which is very harsh and extreme cold weather conditions are there, where the animals, the plants, they all try to survive. And after that, when spring sets in, 
It tells that yes, nature tells how colorful I am and how I have withstand this particular extreme weather and come out of it victorious. Same way we need to teach our children, no matter what circumstances are there in life, you need to come out victorious because there is nothing that is static. Everything keeps changing and comes and goes and you need to, uh, you can say, overcome all hurdles of life. So parents, I thank all of you for your, you can say, overwhelming support that you always give us, the unconditional support that we get from all of you, the faith that you have kept in us and remember all of us together can surely you know make our students our children very very successful when they grow up so let us start with our program today and your applause and your you know you can say whatever the way you can uh, motivate the children will be very very useful for them to perform and give them confidence. Thank you. Now, may I please request Khyanti Lanchuria and Mahalsa Chaturvedi to present you all the annual report of MPL Parabli Hills. Here we go. Hard work and learning from failure. Keeping this in mind, after a lot of hard work and perseverance, Shri Gopal Sharma Sir, the founder of Modern Vidyaniketan School, started his journey with a vision to provide quality education to the future generation and laid the foundation of the first MN school in 1983. With each passing year, all the MN institutions have proved their worth by helping the students achieve and fulfill their dreams. Today, under the leadership of Ms. Kanta Sharma Ma'am, Managing Director, Indian Society and Dynamic Varun Sharma Sir, President, Indian Society. Indian is known for its outstanding results, impeccable foresight, expert faculty and state-of-the-art infrastructure. Consistent and constant support of Ms. Santosh Sharma Ma'am, Chancellor, Indian University has further equipped the students and teachers with technology and resources which is helping the students to emerge as future leaders. Our mentors J.P. Garza, Director, MBN Schools and Prafal Agarwal Sir, Academic Director of MBN Schools with their vast repository of experience, expertise and foresight are helping the students to script their success stories year after year. Under the able guidance of Ms. Nita Arora Ma'am, Principal Emmy Arami Hills, the school has reached great heights. With an experience of over 25 years on her side, she has headed the institution with great expertise and Emmy Arami Hills is a name to record within the education firmament. Emmy is proud to announce that it has achieved excellence in all the three spheres, namely academics, sports and co-curricular activities in the year 2022. In the field of academics, MN has once again proved its mettle. Mehak Jain, an alumni of MBN, who was also the former street topper of the year 2016, has shown everyone that nothing is too difficult for the MBNIs to achieve by securing an all India 17 in the UPSC exam, one of the most difficult and prestigious exams of India. In the examinations conducted by the Central Board of Secondary Education for classes 10 and 12, students have achieved stupendous results. In class 12, non-medical stream, Shreya Varuna secured the top position by scoring 97.6%, followed by Arnab Gurg with 96.8% and Priyanshi Sharma and Sartre Kumar with 96.4%. In the commerce stream, Dushan 97.2% in aggregate, followed by Kogila Dhamra at 97.2%. Ananya Aruna at 96.6% and Sanya Nasa at 96.6%. In the medical stream, Sanjuti Gupta secured 95.8% in aggregate, followed by Dr. Now, coming to class 10th board result, Agrit Arsh, Manya Gaid and Nimisha Vasthi with 99.6% in aggregate secured the first position in school and all India ranked third. Coming in at close second, we have Prithima Varma with 99.4%, followed by Tanya Kamboj at 99.2%. Total 304 students appeared for the class 10th 
for examination. Eight students secured 99 percent and above in aggregate. 21 scored 98 percent and above. 34 scored above 97 percent. 49 scored above 96 percent. 66 secured 95 percent and above. And 150 students secured 90 percent and above in aggregate. In J.
in the 4 to 100 meter freestyle relay and 4 to 100 meter medley relay, second in 2 and Shana Rawat bagged the second position in 50 meter freestyle and third position in 50 meter backstroke in group 5. Bhavya secured the second position in 100 meter championship held at MSC Bharti Khel Gaon Sirsa on 14th August 2022. Amitya bagged the first place in the Vaco Indian Open International Boxing Tournament 2020 title in National Rolling Skating Championship held at Mohali. She won the silver medal in 36th Haryana State Roller Skating Championship in Gurugram and gold medal in the 35th District Roller Skating Gold medals in the 500 meter and 1000 meter ring race and silver medal in the 500 meter ring race at the 35th District Roller Skating Championship. And Akshati secured the first position in the under 17 girls team event. Ananya Negi, Samya and Sabori has back the first position in the under 14 girls teams. On November 2022, Avni Kara back the first position in under 17 category. In the CBSC Zona Badminton Tournament 2023, held at Vikrama Ditya Global School, Panchkuda, Ananya Negi of Class 8, Avni Kara of 19 categories. Ananya Negi was the runner up in the under 15 girls doubles. Under 15 mixed doubles and under 19 girls doubles. Three of the further rounds held among the top scorers. Twisha Bindal secured the first position and Asri Singh secured the fourth position in the Haryana School District Test Championship and a 14 girls event held at Millennium World. Vival and Nikhil Khanna back the third position in under 14 category. In the District Table Tennis Tournament held in July 2022, organized by Grand Columbus International School and Jai Rawal secured the first position in under 15 and 26 to 24 November 2022. Tennis Association of Paitabad, Jai Rawal won the first position. In the Haryana School, school Game 2022-23, District Lawn Tennis Tournament held at Sector 12 Sports Complex, Paritabad from 8th to 10th September 2022. Pranesh Kirti School, Hoshiarpur, Punjab, Aditya Sharma, Dhruv Arora and Pran Devansh Gorgar declared second runner-up in under-19 boys category. Coming to SGFI District Gymnastic Championship held at Sector 12 Sports Complex, Faridabad, September 2022. In the boys event, our team secured the second position in the 11th Arsh and Nimesh Awasthi won second prize at district level and the first prize at zone level in the quiz competition. Shorya Pusri, Arna Parora competition held at Bang Bhavan, Adra Singh won the first prize in clay modeling, Shishti Bhagir won the second prize in classical dance competition, Himanya Gupta won the third prize. I would like to welcome Mrs. Ahalya Vaitatesh Ma'am, Principal MVM 17, for joining us today. and Mahalsa Chaturvedi for presenting us the annual report of MVN Aravi Hills. Let's all give them a big
waddling around. So yeah. Oh, God.